Hi guys, welcome to this left WM PC. It's our uh, ISO builder. And yeah, maybe we should show that as well. The ISO. I've been uh, running or rolling since uh, November last year on this one. So there's no number really, it's just a reference of time. That's the ISO I used and then you keep update. Topic is a response for Discord, I believe it was. It was about cinnamon, but it does not matter, right? It does not matter what desktop, what ISO it is. Because the question is, how can I get the standard cinnamon back, the, sand, the standard key bindings back? That was just a small part of the desktop, eh, key bindings. But I'll explain more how to get the default cinnamon back. And it does not matter, as I say, it does not matter of uh, the, the desktop where I have 26, 27, 28 kind of desktops, right? But the heart and soul is often inside the ETC scale. We have been talking about scale in previous videos. So all of this is basically the heart and soul, the look, the feel of ArcLex. So if you say, I want to have something I don't want these key bindings or anything, right? Or these icons and the color and all that. I want to go back to the pure arch. Then it's super simple. It's super simple. I answered to the guy, look, try by just renaming. You can delete the dot config, here, but let's call it just dash backup. That's enough. Finished, right? Same with cinnamon. So you go and have a look at all the folders that you think is part of the desktop xmonad as dot xmonad right now the local is a little bit more difficult i don't think it won't it will let me do that because there is ah fine okay cool because i thought there was the treasure in there the the, the trash uh here right so it's done it's there do you want to keep the badge or c and all or update and up all and, and all that yeah maybe you should keep it you see the design is broken but that's what you want, right? You want a broken design. You want to have an, um, where is it? Here, an XFCE4 terminal that's not defined. You've just replaced it. And all the desktops kick in. They say, oh, there is no .config. I'll add the default stuff in there. And this is the default for the terminal. So let's reboot. I think let's see if we have more stuff so you go through all the folders that you think okay that's probably gonna change my look so most importantly the dot config and the dot local and maybe in the case of xmonad and stuff like that something there as well the bash rc's we kind of like all our aliases so i wouldn't touch that but hey delete it and <laughs> you have nothing anymore no update to do Many of these desktops require a restart, certainly XFCE. You don't log out and log in, you restart the system. It's gonna look around and say, and all these applications are gonna say, oh, there is no .config for me. And they'll put their standard default back there. And this is it, right? This is it. This is the pure Arch Linux look. And it's also shown on the arclinuxd.com where we install Arch Linux. And then we type sudo pacman minus s cinnamon. This is what you get. And that's really all there is to it. That is all. How easy can it be, right? But once you do scale again, which is a command, then it's gonna copy paste everything again to the etc scale. So this is a beautiful look. It's the GNOME terminal with no transparency, all white, and so on and so on. There is termite, we will have this look, and there will be other terminals. XFC4 is going to have this look. Of course, we don't want to provide an operating system like this. It has to be more consistency, more theming. It has to be beautiful, nice, out of the box. And that's why there are so many configs, because ah, Paru does everything not alphabetically, but vice versa, in, in order, right? It doesn't matter. It, it is all tweaked. It's that we looked into the configs and we, and we saw things that we didn't like. We changed something and then you need to get the config to the people. 
a package. Where should we put it? ETC scale. Why? Because when you do a clean install, everything that's inside the ETC scale is going to go in the home directory, Eric and, and, and Dylan and, and Frank and whatever, right? Because they will inherit the content of the ETC scale. All right, voila. You can um, have all your key bindings back because there will be the default things that Plasma, XFCE, uh, GNOME, etc. will uh, will provide again because hey, it didn't find a .config and it creates the .config or .local or anything from the default settings. All right, cheers.